Okay, folks, I'm bragging. Everybody can hate me now, and you should, because I picked a goddamn. Bo it's just data, folks. You can I do electrical work, SCADA, HMI. Uh, human mechanical interfaces folks basically I show you here and basically I'll take you back to the page that I got the prediction right on and basically on this per on remark down here that I put on and it's just basically I'm at our site that a lot of us chat at stuff like that we share a lot of scientific facts HARP exists uh, CME uh, in space uh, duh, but CPM RADS uh, FUCA fudge up is really a fudge up okay Basically, I'm not going to say what I know, but you NASA knows. They we've seen on uh, Dutch's site, and basically his his address is right there. And we've talked a long time ago when we were when Puka Fudge up first happened, and he was the place to go to because he talked about harp weather modification. You know, everybody was talking about what possibly you can presume and assume all you want about New Orleans. I don't get into that too much, but scientifically. And basically, not even scientifically, but raw data, you with knowing energy, electrical energy, and looking at planets and bounce, and just like a satellite, mirrors in the sun's supergiant energy, because there are suns four to 74 times the size of the sun, ladies and gentlemen, and you can predict quakes. And I know NASA's got to be able to do it better than I can, because they can have their mainframe do the proportional integral derivatives instead of. Do it on a piece of paper with math. Yeah. Scratch paper. Okay? Just plucking it out. Because basically I picked up this. So I dug back to this anyway, folks, but this is the quake that I hit. It's basically a major planet and some other planets and the supergiants suns that are four to seventy eight times the size of the sun. Okay. And we know from me showing you that there's even a planet that is seven hundred and forty seven times bigger than the damn sun in space that they have found. And there's tons of stuff that's even smaller than that, but 4 to 78 times the size of the sun. Okay, And we found that planet, watch the video just before this, found a planet today that the sun blasted that's hella close to the sun, and it was not Jupiter, and it was not Mercury. And let's go to Beacon. But folks, when, when you got a scientific find for yourself, and you know that you nailed something within 7 minutes, I'm just proud. I just know what, I, I know what I've found, and I know that... My theories and my discoveries are all correct, okay? Seven minutes off, folks, because basically that comment that I put in there, I actually spelled that wrong. If you go back about, well, I'm sure there's someone's put in about five or ten, or maybe even ten, fifteen. You're probably going to have to go back about 30 pages by the time this video hits. And basically, I put down, basically, I went back and had, and I basically, right there, I had, what I printed in was a 4.6 or higher quake in the ring of fire. In three hours and 20 minutes, 4:25 p.m. Central Time, it should hit. Okay, and I spelt that wrong there, and it was just basically a typo, space, and there you go. It was seven minutes off. Okay, because it hit at 20:32:54. That's UTC time, and then you do the conversion on time. And here's the comment, folks. I took a snapshot. Bamo. Okay. So I just missed that. Apologize to anybody up here, but basically anyway, they're on the internet and it's basically share. So I hit that thing because basically I can zoom out just a little bit. Missed it by seven minutes, predicting a quake in the ring of fire, which is pretty damn easy to do, but just off of seven minutes. But I think I can even, and I think I even got it down to five minutes earlier this year around Fuka Fudge Up time, because that's when I figured it all out is what was going on with what was hitting there. There was a flyby, ladies and gentlemen. The Japanese government authorized a flyby, high-speed flyby by the U.S. military to take a look at some stuff. And basically, it's the same stuff that's causing the volcanoes over there to erupt on the Japan one. Now, let me go to Dutch's and watch those videos. Now, folks, I don't know if the video player will play or not, but there we go. Okay, so I'm looking at Dutch's on the 19th, and that's the address for this video. And as you see, we have the supergiants and basically stars throughout the universe that are reflecting this light. And there's this light here that they're reflecting down, folks. And I think the player will hit here again. And this stuff keeps showing up, folks. And no, it's not the military practicing with a laser or anything like that. 
And if you want, there's a video that I caught down at Casey that basically there is a satellite that's took over the depths of of the Antarctic, okay, and probably up at the North Pole they can do the same thing with the satellite. And basically, I do believe that they're doing covering up on also of, and I know about that. And basically, if you watch my videos, all I can say is, okay, electrical. So this light energy is hitting, and then if we can get this to play all right, you're going to end up seeing also the light energy. And then they they have doctored this video again. I would say Dutch, and I don't know if you know the originals and stuff, but they have put. They keep on trying to block out exactly what we know we've seen, and everybody's seen lightning. It's no big deal, but they're blotching over, and we'll be. It doesn't really matter because I'm pretty sure if I go back to the 15th and the other ones of this month, the video will end up showing. And as you know, that they're only giving us so much stuff, and they're doctoring over everybody's videos that take shots of this volcano, because this is all a natural phenomenon of this triangulation of this and this and this. And also this, this, and you can see the colorization there of what these terahydrons, tetrahydrons, reflection of all the supergiants light out into space. And you've already seen, if you go back the last three videos of mine, okay, I'm not sure which one I did it today, but you will see, and as you see, the player's not really playing with a shit on here, and we're not really being able to see that light, but you can see it here. This light action moves along. And those are not flipping vehicles, folks. Okay? You can even tell by the size and the movement of it and the speed of it when you get one at real time speed. Okay? And then all these objects up here, and they're not flipping UFOs. This is all planets doing these triangulations, star clusters, beaming super giants light down to Earth. I've already showed the temperature on. Let me go to my videos real fast. So actually, I'm wondering if I should change the title on this. But anyway, everybody needs to watch this because we found that huge planet up by the sun today. Okay, there's a huge planet that's at least a third of the size of the Jupiter, no matter what. It's at least a third, because if you made up ten of them round buggers uh, to eleven of them, basically, uh, they would, I mean, it would be, uh, yeah, you'd have to take that times three. So the idea that if you had 33 of those, that would make the size of the sun, okay, that we found whatever the hell that planet was today, because it was not Jupiter, and it was not Mercury, okay? That was found today. So if you check this out on the temperature, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you watch that video. Let me blow this up a little bit. Make sure you watch that video uh, right above here. Make sure you watch the CMEs and you'll understand the supergiant's energy with all this heat that I actually found technical data of the temperature of the CMEs, total temperature and the sun's temperature out in space, okay? And then you got to watch all these because there's a find on every one of these. Just keep on busting balls, finding stuff, so forth and so on. Uh, CM, me, in space, that's uh, solar mass ejection. CPM is in RAS, or radiation from Puka Fudge up down here, and the idea that there is large planets between the sun and us, and the supergiants. And you can see it a lot at nighttime, okay? Uh, temperatures of seawater on our Earth, axis tilt, all kinds of stuff, folks, so keep tuning in. And watch all my videos all the way back to the very first one where basically everybody woke up that does come in, come in there and watch most of my videos is the idea that one of the ones first was like that's like at 14,000 views or something. It doesn't really matter because they have screwed with my counters like crazy because all of it is scientific, actual, factual data of finds. We even found a satellite uh, was hooked up way before NASA said that NASA we caught NASA's sats in space that are already hooked up before that they, and that's all right, you know, why would we want to ever tell anybody in the whole world about our satellites unless we knew they were working already, okay? Okay, folks, I got it at this size, and this should play all right, and you should be able to see the light action, and again, as you see it coming along here, there is reflections, and they just don't like it. They're not now, folks, you'll see gigantic light from outer space, and probably people that have seen this video, they've probably got but watching it like crazy, and it's like, he's right, he's right, he's right, and yeah, it's there, but he's getting repetitive on it, it don't matter. This is light from outer space, ladies and gentlemen, and it is lighting these damn volcanoes up. Dark light, bright light, it seems to be playing okay now, and you'll see it here, this light propagation moving along, and it also hits from, uh, and I'll try to see if I can find the, 
the this is the 19th again, and I'll see if I can find a 15th. And I think maybe even Dutch has been noticing that on Google or something. And you have to watch it. I haven't taken time to listen to audio. He's got some videos that he's showing about Google, and I don't know if he's actually been able to exploit more of, because we found a long time ago that they were uh, masking over the lightning at the volcanoes, and it's really stupid because you can get on the internet and you'll find. Uh, on YouTube, you'll find old footage of uh, weather stations seeing it back in 2007, lightning. And yes, when you see lightning, static electricity, it's AC, okay? It's not DC, okay? Direct current is a straight line, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And yes, we have DC current on our planets moving through space, but... And the one from the 15th really shows it, folks, because it's playing real good and everything. And you'll see this light pop up and back. See that light action right there? Let me pop it into 400 and get up there. And you see the lightning there also, too, in this shot. So this is one that they really have. And I figured if it was the idea that it was a little older, because we were talking about And I figured, don't talk about the 15th for a while, right? And let me see. And pop this back on the player. And I might even, uh, and as you see, they jumped the player way the hell ahead on me. Scatter. I know all about it. And you got the web address for this video. And it's at Dutch. And here I got up to 400%, folks. Now watch this light action and all these stars constellations up there and yeah they're making it hard to, to, to video full screen on this Java bullshit they put a bunch of glitch stuff up and everybody knows about the messing with my sound and so forth and so on but you white watch this light propagation ladies and gentlemen and as you seen as I was videotaping a second ago you could see the lightning down here let me pop back down to 150 there you go there's the lightning action wow we got a hold of it here get the players going again so that's a light and it's nothing new we've seen this lightning action before okay now, they are trying to do some religious or big money power control voodoo bullshit because we've caught them playing with the video feeds on this Japanese feed stuff, okay? And then, whatever, who's going to do something and saying that, whatever, this, that. All I know is Japan's giving us a bunch of rads and CPM. And here's the light action, folks. Watch this light action move around down here because it's the same stuff that's lighting up the volcano up higher. And all these orbs are not UFOs. It's all light propagation from the super giants, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and there are boats in the harbor and stuff like that out there hanging around this volcano watching the show all the time. This is all triangulation and light propagation from outside space. You see all this light action here? Now the player's jamming up and doing what it's doing. Let me get back down to 150 and see if that'll help it at all. And you'll see it from every direction. So this is a very good video. You'd get that address up there that's up on the address line up here. Okay. I'll promote it and cut and paste because this is just a good one on the 15th, I guess basically the 16th. I think it goes from the 15th to the 16th. But see, there's the lightning action. You can't miss that. And then you'll see the light propagation. If I don't move my pointer around, this should play pretty good, okay? So you're getting light propagation from outer space, ladies and gentlemen. Now, when you see a man-made laser, it's totally straight. Okay, so if you ever see like what I showed you in the video that from Casey Station, and I still have that video actually. I don't like talking about that. Basically, caught the laser action of the satellite more than likely down at Casey Station. Okay, either that or they have a find down there because I I will be honest with you straight out. I had somebody telling me, but I think it's a, they're blowing smoke up my butt about the plagues. Okay, they're trying to make a make something out of nothing. Because we do have a satellite that was supposed to replace the Skunk Works plane that's been studying the depth of the Antarctic ice down in Antarctica. Okay, So I hit play to hit this play again so that you can keep an eye on the screen and keep of the features of all that light below the volcano there. Those are not vehicles, ladies and gentlemen. This is light propagation from outer space from the flipping supergiants in a bunch of planets. Light reflection. Remember the commercials about satellites in the mirrors? It's all in the mirrors. Yes. We get great TV reception, all kinds of stuff, communications, and everything. And they are having a hard time with overpull flights because of problems with compasses on planes because of our magnetic axis turn. And everybody knows about it. It's even been on the flipping news on every major station, well, almost. Okay? So watch this one on the 15th of Dutchess, and I will cut and paste the address of this video of his. And thanks for standard YouTube use, Dutch. And it's playing pretty good again, so I hit play again for you. And then they'll probably play with the player on my player, too. So always just back up the player a little bit. They're going to mess with my sound.
and stuff like that because they don't want you to know scientific or factual data. Now, if you watch that one up here to a minute ago, it just did that big, see that there, that big popping, that big bubble? That's what we get from the supergiants and from that sun that's coming out of more facts and truth soon.